we're just trying on hats. Welcome to Franklin Method Faculty Friday. I'm Alice Morgan and one of the things I hear people complain a lot about is their balance. So let's do something right now to improve our balance. So first we're going to come to standing if you're able and we're going to just take a little status quo right now of where our balance is. So we just want to notice how our balance is today. You can challenge it a little bit. And other side, same thing. So we're just having a baseline so we can say, here's where our balance is right now. So let's go on right into it and we're going to do a little exercise for the Feet. So I want you to walk on the outer edges of your foot. It looks kind of like a cowboy getting off a horse. <laughs> no offense to cowboys. <laughs> and um, we're just kind of walking on the edges and maybe even balancing on the outer edge of the foot. It's okay if you're wobbly. It's just for fun. And then we're going to go on the inside edges of the foot. So we're going to kind of bend the knees and think of lifting the outer edge of the foot like a stingray would lift its wings on the outer edge. Little flash. And we're just on the inside edge, on the inside edge. Good. And then we're going to walk on the heels. So you're just walking forward and back, forward and back, keeping your toes lifted. And then you're going to walk on your toes. keeping the heels lifted. Good. And now come back to standing and we're going to check in with our balance again. So here we go. Just noticing our balance. Good. Other side. You can add a little challenge to it just to feel. So you've probably already felt a little improvement because by doing something where we focused on you know all the edges of the foot we gave the brain a, some current information about the foot a current experience and then the brain was able to take that information and help navigate into <laughs> into a little better functional movement which is balance right now so it's not to say that your brain didn't know where your foot was before that, but giving it a, an experience and some feedback right now, what is able to direct the change that you felt. Good. So now, I do like to try on hats. I also like to try on metaphorical imagery. So we're going to try on different metaphorical imagery to improve our balance. So let's image that our foot has roots and maybe not going deep roots but these are like spreading out roots like the live oak trees that we have here in Louisiana so the root system can spread I don't know like a hundred feet in diameter so you have your foot with its live oak roots spreading all the way out in a circle all around just notice how that image helps And then we're going to stay on the same side, you can shake it out, and we're going to image a totally different image that we're going to image that we're standing on a ball, like a tennis size shaped ball. And so you're going to be balancing on the ball. So now you're balancing, you have a ball under your foot, and you're balancing on the ball. Maybe notice how just the image creates a little more tension, that the leg is like, whoa, <laughs> I'm on a ball even though we're not really on the ball, right? So we're just playing to show that what we're thinking has an effect. So there's some other good imagery that's in the Happy Feet book by Eric Franklin. And I love this one, it's, it's the buoys. If you imagine that the foot has buoys where the bones are, it's buoys. And the buoys are able to float and adapt. So let's go to our other side. 
and image our buoy bone in our foot. So here we're imaging that the bones are just buoys and the water can move, but the buoys just adjust and keep floating and floating. And sometimes the water is still and sometimes the water is moving and the buoys, no big deal. The buoys just bob along. Good, shake that out. And then one more water image is this one where there's like a geyser or a water spout straight up through the arch of the foot. So same side as your buoy foot, <laughs> your buoy bone foot. Now you're gonna image a water spout going straight up through the arch of the foot. And it's just, just going straight up all the way through the body, out the top of the head if you want. Or maybe it just stops at the foot and your foot's just balanced on top. Lots of ways to play with metaphorical imagery. Good. Let us know which one was your favorite metaphor. And it's not to say that you won't improve your balance by doing exercises and balance exercises, but you can improve your balance right now with what's going on in your head. I hope you get to enjoy some of the wonderful Franklin Method classes and workshops that are worldwide. There's educators and there's online classes and courses. And remember that your head isn't just for hats. <laughs> Have a good weekend.